Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Slowly Simplifying Your Spaces. And today we are tackling our main level hallway and our coat closet. So come along with me as we simplify, minimize, and declutter our seasonal clothing and try to streamline it enough that we only have the pieces that we use and that we need. So, so come along with me as we uh, tackle our hallway seasonal coat closet. So this is the closet that we have. It is right by the front door that we don't use. So it's been always a struggle what to put in here and what to keep. Our vacuum is just down here and we really need to find a home for that. It kind of just goes from room to room, space to space. It doesn't have a designated home, but we're gonna open this closet up. And this is what it's looking like right now. It's not too bad, but I feel like there's a few things I can let go of. And I really, I just wanna tackle it and simplify it and maybe even have space in there to store our vacuum. Now our Cooper closet down at the other end is another area that I'm considering storing the vacuum, but we'll have to see. So for now, let's just go through this. Let's take the coats out, see what's there, see what we can part with and only put back the things that we use and that we need for the climate that we live in. Ooh, okay. I won't leave your side for anything what would be the point I'm with you through and through what I was looking for was everything okay what do you do when you live with someone who doesn't want to be a minimalist like my husband <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do with all these coats that he never wears that have been sitting in this closet for years I'm going to put them in a time will tell bin. I'm going to store them down the basement. And if he asks for them, then at least I'll know where they are. And they're not taking up valuable real estate on our main level that we could be using. Um, he's never reached for these, honestly, years. But he doesn't want to get rid of them. The last time I did this closet declutter, I asked him and he did get rid of some, but he didn't want to get rid of these. He's not home right now. I can't ask him and I do not declutter things that don't belong to me. That is not my job. It is their items and they need to come to that decision to whether or not they keep them. So for the time being, we'll put them in a time will tell bin and I'll bring it down the basement to the storage room and then he can decide, um, when he's ready to let them go. Okay, so floor is cleaned off. I need to sweep it. And I took all the coats down. This is actually my mother's scarf, so I need to return that to her. But I did not touch up at the top yet. I'll do that once I get this all situated. But I have a shelf that I wanted to try in here for the longest time upstairs in the playroom it is a shoe shelf and i think i am going to go and set it up and put it in here and see if it works um and it might give us a little more space but i'm not sure we don't use this closet for a lot of hanging needs and honestly i think some hooks might be beneficial back here for like matt's basketball bag that we just put in here. It's already filled. It has his basketball and his shoes that he wears when he goes there, um, as well as some of the like other shoes that I have in baskets right now. So like this is what it looks like. I just threw everything out. It's not a ton of stuff and I do see things that we can let go of, but I just had them all in these, these two bags. Well, not bags. I had them in these two bins. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to see. Another space that that shelf could work would be in our current, like the one that we use all the time in the kitchen, the mud room that we put the doors on, the shelf for the shoes could work there. Anyway, I'm gonna sweep this closet first and then go through the coats, see what we're keeping 
and what we're going to put back and put them back in here and then I'm going to go through the bins on the floor before I do any sort of like organizing in that space and everything I found well, honey I found it on you you're the song I want to sing you're the story I want to tell you're the reason I believe that honey love is a ringing bell. Nothing could shake me, but then you shook me. You turned me right side up from being wrong side down. Couldn't be taken, but then you took me. You gave me words to write. You went and changed my sound. Now you're the song I wanna sing. You're the story I wanna tell. You're the reason I believe that honey love is ringing. I've come to a dilemma with two of my coats so i'm gonna put you there and let's see so i have this long trench coat that i love and i probably only need one of so this is the long one i thrifted this there and then short one which is cute too and I don't know which one to keep there we go so do I keep the short or the long I think the long is more versatile okay I answered my own question I'm gonna keep the long one it will just go with so much more it goes with jeans it goes with dresses and I need to take the emotion out of this decluttering because I have two, it, you could have two, you could have two jackets if you really wanted to. I just know I don't need them and I want to go even more minimal on this minimalism journey. So I'm choosing to only have one type of fancier trench coat and I think it will work with a lot of things. So I am going to declutter this one and keep this one. I am also choosing to keep my jean jacket and my thinner spring jacket. This one I wear for when I'm walking and I want something to protect me from the wind. And this one I wear with a lot of dresses in the springtime. So I am keeping both of these. Yes, might not be extreme minimalism, but it is minimal for me only owning the things that I wear and use and being really intentional with the items that I keep. I am parting with this Columbia jacket that I've had for years. I've had this since high school. I'm 41. <laughs> I've been out of high school a long time. I'm pretty sure I got this in 11th or 12th grade. So 1998 or 1997, 98, 99 era. And it's 2023. It's time to let it go. I have another jacket that I wear. This one here, I only really reached for if I was going skiing. Reality check, I don't ski. <laughs> I am terrified of skiing, so I don't need it. And uh, it's time to say goodbye. It definitely served its purpose. It, it got me through a lot of cold winters, but it's time for it to go. The rest of the things are Madeline's and normally I don't declutter my children or husband's things unless I ask them, but this winter coat doesn't fit her anymore. This one she never reaches for. I thrift it and she just doesn't want to wear it and I respect that. And this jean jacket, she has another one upstairs that she wears more, so I'm going to let go of that. So those are some of the outerwear that I am letting go of out of this closet. Like I mentioned earlier, match things I am not decluttering. I'm just putting them in a time will tell bin. So they are not going back into the closet. I might put 
his raincoat back in there and one other jacket, but the rest of them, I'm putting them in a bin in the storage room. And when he asks for them, they'll be there. And then eventually in a few months, I'll have a discussion with him and then we can decide if he's gonna keep or donate them. So I'm finding a few things that we don't need and I am just gonna donate them. Um, these skates, they don't fit either of the kids anymore, so we don't need those. Along with these hockey gloves, again, don't fit the kids, time to let them go. And I have one thing, I'm not sure if it fits either of the kids, and I don't think it does, so I'm gonna put it aside. It's a helmet, it's this hockey helmet, and I don't know if it fits either of them. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put it aside and check with the kids, and then otherwise, we're gonna donate it. So it's a nice little set, hockey helmet, gloves, and skates. So I did take the bin that was up there down and had a pair of skates in it that were new ones for Madeline. This here is labeled winter hats, but it is not. I can see right through it, which I really like having clear bins for. It has some golf things. There's golf tees and golf balls. So I'm gonna keep them there. That's summer related. Matt's skates are up there. We're just gonna keep them for the amount of time we skate. I've had my skates for years, probably 25 years and I don't need to, I'll keep them because we do go skating as a family. It is something that we might not do as frequently as we would like, but we do do it. And the kids go skating with school and it's just something that we enjoy doing as a family. So what I'm going to do is take my skates and they're the Madeline's. We thrifted those, really lucky find. She needed a new pair and we found them, we thrifted them. I don't know if both of our skates will fit in this bin. Okay, so both Maddie and my skates fit in there. Connor needs a new pair, so that's something we have to add to the list. And this bin is just going right back up on the top shelf. In that middle section, I think I am going to put basket for our, our summer shoes and ball gloves. Actually, what I'm planning to do is I'm just going to put these in my bedroom and store all of my shoes in my bedroom closet. This has swimming goggles and baseball mitt. So this is just gonna slide right up into that space in the closet. Really dark in the closet, but we have these hooks that I hung up. This one here is screwed in, so I'm gonna use this to hold Matt's basketball bag. So he has a space to put it after every night that he plays basketball, he can come home and he can hang it on this hook. Then I have our racquetball rackets here. And I think they're fine stored there. I would like a space for our picnic blanket and another space for our other bags that we use. I have three backpacks in this one, well, two backpacks in this one backpack. And it is good for when we are going um, hiking or uh, like going to the beach in the summer or doing something like even skating for the kids. Their skates and their helmet will fit in here. So I'd like to have this somewhere. It's not very heavy. So it might actually, I could probably just hang it on a hanger to keep right there. So I think that will work for now. So This is what the closet's looking like now. I need to do something with this wire. It is just where our wires run upstairs. I need to hook it like on the side, but this looks like a thousand times better. I made room for the vacuum. We can slide it in, slide it out. There's one pair of shoes in that bin, which are the ones that Matt will use for mowing the lawn in the summer. We pared down the coats. I kept his winter coat in here and his raincoat. Maddie's raincoat, my spring coats are in here as well. I ended up hanging the backpacks and the picnic blanket on a hanger. Hopefully I'll get some hooks. There's a designated spot for his basketball bag. He can just hang it up. And then down there is our little thing for drying over the vent, our winter gear. So closet looks so much better. 
the song I wanna sing. You're the story I wanna. Over here is that skating stuff. That jacket's going. And I honestly think I'm just going to get rid of this because it's just not serving any purpose and I don't want to hold on to it anymore. And these hangers are growing as well. You're the reason I believe that honey love is a ringing bell. You're the song I want to sing. You're the story I want to tell. You're the So that's it. That is my coat storage closet in the hallway. It looks a million times better. It is simplified, it is streamlined, and it is only holding the things that we use and we need. So thanks so much for being here and watching this slowly simplifying your space episode. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and you want to see more. I'll link the playlist down in the description box below for all the other slowly simplifying your space videos. And Come back tomorrow for a Tuesday Tiny Tidy where I am going to be tackling a small little area of my home and just kind of decluttering, simplifying, and minimizing that and tidying it up. So come back tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thanks for being here. Remember, I love and appreciate you all. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. Bye.